welcome to GoggleCam, the internet's first first-person video of how to do lab. The scan head is going to rest on these three beads on top of the micromotors and so you see there's three indentations on the scanner head. This is the largest one in the back so I start with that then I go to this one which is the second largest and I end up on this one which is the smallest and it'll just fit and it'll lock in place. So I start from the back easy to hit that large target and now I go to the left side slot there and then on the right side I have to swiggle a little bit until it locks in place like that like so okay that's a little closer than I really want it to be <clears throat> again the, the about the only damage you can do of course gently plug that in you could break that if you force that same with this gentle when when it's in place there's a little indentation that it rests in a little valley so you gently move it until you feel that and we're not going to put the cover on yet because we want to target our sample before we put the cover on and start scanning so because we want to make sure we scan in the right place so on the computer log into the computer using the credentials on the screen <clears throat> and the software we want to use is called NanoDrive so when that opens up it's going to tell you that the controller needs to be on controller box the controller has a power switch right there and a green light. You can see the green light is not on. We have not turned it on yet. So I'm going to turn it on. Green light goes on. And here's a series of clicks. As the controller connects to the computer and the microscope. Once that happens, we can click OK. And now it will load the last set of instructions that the microscope had. Okay, so the last time we used it, it was in scanning tunneling mode. We don't want to do that. We want to do tapping mode. So we selected tapping. Default ta uh, Innova. Yes, that's what we want. We also want to change before we saw the small area scanner was in place. We've now put the large area scanner in and this one with the serial number is the one that's been calibrated. The calibration's stored on the computer. So that's the one we want to use, load. So again, the computer's going to look at what were the settings the last time tapping mode was used with the large area scanner. To use the software to collect the data, we need to first make sure that the instrument is aligned correctly. As I mentioned in the setup, there's a aluminum backing on the probe and we need a laser from this side of the scan head to come down, bounce off the back of the cantilever, and go up this side into a detector. And first, before we can collect any data, we need to make sure the laser is aligned. So what I'm going to do is focus my optical boom camera here, and this is the live camera display, to see where the cantilever is. This is fine focus, this is coarse focus. Again, there's very few things you could break in this instrument, but you could break this motor if you force it too much. And I never remember which way to turn to change the focus, but you can see the microscope is going up and down. And as I do that, my image here gets in focus and out of focus. So this is a piece of the chip that the cantilever is etched off, off of. Let's uh, zoom out so we can see everything. Okay, so see that's that trapezoidal shape that we saw before and now here you can see the cantilever that's sticking out from that 
Again, that was too small for us to see with our eye, but we have a little microscope here to help us. What we also notice is that there's this red spot here. This is where the laser is hitting the surface of the sample. It is not hitting the back of our cantilever yet. And I'm going to show you how to tune it. The tricky part when tuning is to remember that the laser is coming from this side at an angle. The cantilever is here. The sample is here. So there's some geometry we have to do. When we shift the direction of the laser, we have to keep in mind the geometry so that if we want to hit the cantilever, the spot will be hitting the surface over here to the left of the cantilever. So actually we, we might be very close. The laser spot is to the left of the cantilever, <coughs> laser spot on the surface. So we don't want to get wild moving the, the, micro, the, the alignment <coughs> mirrors around. <coughs> I like to turn off the light so I can see just light from the laser and then that's the room light so it helps me see what's happening these are the laser alignment mirrors here again you don't have to memorize which what does what you just move it and see what happens okay so that moved out a little bit this moved that way a little bit so let's go this way a little bit I don't want to go too far because I know I'm actually close to where I want to be I'm going to go up more until I hit the chip there. I hit the chip. Right there. So now I move. Now I'm hitting the chip and this is a bevel edge so I'm right about where the cantilever is but a little above. And there we go. Now I'm hitting the back of the cantilever. And I, I want to hit the back of the cantilever near the tip because that'll be the most sensitive part. It's like a diving board. And it's bringing her out here at the, the edge. Okay. Now that I know where this is, I can zoom in. It is not lined up with the cantilever. So when I zoom in, I won't be able to see the cantilever. So I'm going to move this position. These two levers, these two knobs, move the optical camera position. Again, gently rotate these knobs. You could get to the edge of them and, and strip them out. <coughs> okay, so now I've centered the cantilever, so when I zoom in, I'll definitely still be seeing the cantilever. And I want to get back to my laser alignment, move these mirror knobs slowly to get the laser spot toward the end of the cantilever and balance. So that's about perfectly centered where I want that laser spot to be. Okay, so I've, I've aligned the laser spot with the cantilever. Now I need to align the detector so it sees the spot that's reflecting back and these little LEDs tell me that it is hitting the detector. There's a little bit of green, but it's off the bottom and the right. And so I'm going to use these two knobs to adjust the detector mirrors. <coughs> to also to help me, there is a detector <coughs> display, voltage display, live display. So this is, it's a position sensitive detector. Uh, four quadrant photodiode and, and just like these little LEDs told me the laser is not hitting the center of the detector it's off a little bit and this is the total signal that the detector is seeing right now so as I move these knobs I can adjust that spot and initially that spot probably isn't going to move but I am moving something because this signal is getting stronger so I am moving in the right direction Again, gently rotate so you can see what the changes are. Although this is a digital instrument, this part working with the knob is, is clearly an analog process. I'm tuning another, I'm trying to center the signal and get the maximum signal. Okay, now I switch to the other mirror. And there's some crossover with the mirrors. So as you turn 
one knob, but turn the other knob, it doesn't always exactly do exactly what you'd expect. Okay, so that's centered. And two volts is a good amount of signal. So, so we've completed the laser alignment. Now we are ready to collect data.